Efectivamente, Mesa Philippines está a nosso invitado a ver também como está a gostar de comer de sua preparação na caminda para o Miss Universo. Rabia Mateo está é representante de Filipinas para o seguinte setembro de Miss Universo. Com a doçã é passar hora com o nosso Kisha Albert, aqui da de Top 10 da Miss Filipinas, está a Catriona na Greta, é um assalho Miss Universo. E pendente para nós mirar é desse rolo também de representante novo aqui uh, de uh, Filipinas. Nós vamos lá começar a se nós temos tudo uh, contato na cultura Bia Mateo. Mesa Philippines, uh, good morning we're here from us here in Curaçao. How are you doing? Bom dia, ah. Curaçao. <laughs> Bom dia. It's actually evening here in the Philippines. I can imagine. We have also with us uh, Miss Philippines, Miss Curaçao Chantal Witts. Hi, Hi, Bia. How are you? I'm doing great. You look good. Like, Thank you. Oh you look good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Tell me, um, uh, Bia, how is the, uh, your preparations going on for the Miss Universe competition? I just won three weeks ago. So as of the moment, I have this media for but I know sooner I'm gonna start competing with the Miss Universe to get organized. Awesome. Just a, a question because your uh, last name is Matteo. Do you have uh, like uh, um, descendants from the Latin countries? Yes, actually, Matteo is my mother's last name. Okay. You know what happened to my mom and my dad. And the Philippines has been colonized by Spain for 300 years, so I guess somehow in my roots I have a lot of blood. <laughs> so, Gabia, I have been reading about the flute in the Philippines, and I wondered um, how does this affect your country, and what do you do uh, to help your country? Yes, we were struck by one typhoon after another. And it's really sad, and I kind of actually celebrate my birthday. That's why I decided to have a donation drive for the victim of Typhoon Unity. And I just came home from Kagalan. We were, they were really affected by the typhoon. Actually, the flood was over the side or the height of a human person, and that was meant there every one was devastated. So I decided to become a happy hand to them. Okay, that's I amazing. I had my donation bag, and I was able to deliver relief food to those people who needed it the most. That's amazing. That's so really nice that you did that. And I hope that in the future everything goes well. And now something completely else. I've been wondering, with the large fan base that you have, um, I would also like to take this opportunity to say Salama Po to all uh, my Filipino followers. Thank you so much for your support and love. And Mahal Kokalong Lahat Philippines. And now my question to you is, how do you deal with the pressure from the big fan base? Does it motivate you? Does it scare you? How, how do you deal with everything? Actually, it's really scary and there's a lot of pressure being missed Philippines because of that sash factor. But my mentors would always remind me that this should be a different journey compared to the former teams that we had. And as of the moment, I'm just enjoying everything because it's just going to be one year that I'm going to be called Miss Philippines and I need to make the most out of, of this. And I'm actually excited to meet our Miss Universe sisters. And actually, Chantal, I also want to take this opportunity to thank you. You're such a nice person. Thank you so much for always giving me compliments in the social media. And I can't wait to see you in the future. I cannot wait either. I'm very, very excited to meet everyone. And Rabia, let's, let's uh, talk a little bit about your preparation for the next uh, competition. Can you tell us a little bit about, about uh, this journey? Yes, actually, 
I have already this set of mentors who will guide me in this journey and um, these people have been also helping me feel words back and Katriona Gray back then and I can't wait to experience you know their expertise how they will help me and mold me as Miss Philippines but of course I need to focus with my communication skills because the Miss Universe organization is looking for a spokesperson, somebody who can speak for her cause. And uh, yes, I, I'm very much excited. I know this is really a beautiful transformation. I still need to learn a lot of things. I still need to improve in a lot of aspects. But, you know, I'm very much excited to see and to become that phenomenal woman who's going to represent my country in the international stage. You have also um, work about um, uh, in about uh, community projects, isn't it? Yes, that's true. Um, there was a, a, a post that you have a, a post about uh, the beauty of the women. Is that true? Yes. Okay, nós estamos mirando com a nossa... Tem um tique de dificuldade com a comunicação, a nossa mão aqui. Uh, Marabia, did, um, did you uh, hear the last question? Okay, um, come again, please. Um, we are talking about the beauty, the beauty projects and the community projects that you are uh, working with. Can you tell us about uh, these projects? Yes, actually I'm working with the and Beauty Program which tackles the poverty in my city, which is Iloilo. So what we do there is we conduct feeding program and at the same time, we teach children how to read and write. Oh. Personally, I work as an educator for the graduates of physical therapists and being with these kids, it reminds me of my humble beginning because I also came from a really poor family. And now it's my time to give back and to inspire them with my story because education had transformed me into the woman that I am today. And I hope these children will have the same opportunities that I had in the past so that they will have that life that they and their family deserve. Yes, I agree with you. I, th I think it's very important that we give children the opportunity and that we give back to what we have uh, have given, have taken. But now something else, I have another question for you. And I was wondering, I know this is your first time participating in Miss Universe uh, Philippines, your first beauty pageant. And I wondered, how do you deal with the pressure? With the pressure it's that's- kind of difficult. Because here in the country, Beauty pageants are really a big deal. Yes, <laughs> and I being a neophyte, it's kind of scary. And I never thought that I'm going to win it the first time. But God is so good. God has blessed me with people who believe in me, with people who can help me. And actually, with all the pressure, I became more polished as a candidate and now as a representative of the Philippines. That's amazing. I remember how I felt the first time I participated. <laughs> Babia, let's talk a little bit about your national costume because the Philippines is a very known about beautiful national costume. Do you have already as, um, have said of see the beauty of your dress or do you have no idea about your national costume? The plans weren't finalized yet, but I want to bring festivity from the Philippines to the international stage. So I'm thinking of Dinagyang Festival okay. from the place that I represented, Iliilo. So I wanted to be really colorful, big, but at the same time still sexy. But nothing is final yet. Okay. 
Uh, and uh, for, the, for the last question, I will give uh, Chantal the opportunity uh, to, to ask the last question. Do you have a question for the Minister of Philippines? I do. I have many more questions. I'm so excited to meet you. And I was wondering, um, how do you, uh, how do you uh, combine everything in your day? How does your daily look, lo uh, day look like? My schedule is really crazy. Yes. And sometimes it's really overwhelming. Especially during the first week, I would wake up 5 a.m. and I would sleep 1 a.m. And I cannot believe that my body was able to conquer the challenge and all the, you know, pressure that comes with the title. But it's a good pressure. I would always remind myself and Every one of us has 24 hours a day, so I choose to spend my energy and my time in the things that would make me a better person. Yes, that's very important. And right now I'm very much excited to say that I'm working with a lot of great people, mentoring me with my patwa, training me with my communication skills, and working with the things that can be squeezed out of me. Yeah, I can relate to that. So it's, it's all amazing. about trying to balance everything. And any uh, message for your uh, um, fans here in Curacao with Bia? Yes, I heard that a lot of people from Curacao have been supporting me. And all that I can say is thank you so much for believing in me, for loving me. And actually, you guys have a very beautiful and smart candidate as well. And a lot of Filipinos love Chantal. I can't wait to meet her in the Miss Universe. And who knows, maybe we're going to be roommates. I hope so. I really hope so. It will be so nice. And maybe also you two will be standing together in, in, the, in the last part of the, yes. of the, the Miss Universe pageant. <laughs> Rabia, we will thank you so much for, the, for, for this uh, um, interview and we hope we will see you soon in the Miss Universe pageant. Thank you so thank much. You, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Rabia Mateo, Miss Philippines 2020. Ela quer conversar com o nosso rato cine diretamente for the Filipinas. Me digo que sabe que a hora que acaba está mais ou menos passado em nove dias noite, então se curte a nós com mais, mas a orgulho mesmo por conversar com o Messi Filipinas, onde é participante, então se curte bastante forte para